had a chance to drive the 2023 Toyota Sequoia, built in San Antonio, I might add. Mm -hmm. Uh, Available trim levels are the SR5, that's the base, goes up to the Limited, followed by the Platinum, then the TRD Pro, and top-of-the-line Capstone. The reviewed trim level is the Capstone Hybrid. Uh, What size, what class? Standard SUV, body on frame. This is the old-school style of SUV, and there is a place and a need for those even today. How many seats? Up to eight. Uh, This is a completely redesigned Sequoia. Beautiful. All the way from the ground up. Beautiful truck. Yeah. Do not compare this to the old outgoing Sequoia. It is not anything close to that. It is. This is evolutionary off of the new Tundra. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's built in San Antonio, because that's where they built the Tundra. Mm -hmm. A completely redesigned, massive grill, matches the heft of this beast. Also has very attractive lighting, good-looking rear hatch and tail lights with a sunshade over the glass, sharp-looking body side sculpting, very cool. 22-inch dark chrome alloy wheels on the one that I drove, and I will tell you that they, based on the trim level, that will get you the up top of the line 22 inches on the capstone which I had. What I liked about it, the best-looking design. Among competitors, well, Did I, like I say the, that I like the uh, mm. the black and white interior. I actually thought that was kind of kind of cool, a little bold to say, but kind of cool. Well, like I said, best looking design among its competitors. Wow, this the, yeah, it says a lot. And I would throw this in there with the Cadillac. Just what? saying. Oh, now oh, you've made an enemy oh, with Jeff. Man. What could use improvement? N- words. Nothing. Interior highlights. All new 14-inch touchscreen built into the dash that is muy, muy magnifico. You notice my screen's bigger than your screen is all the rage. Now, Apparently, right? yeah. Premium leather <laughs> upholstery with wood trim, real wood trim, and the head-up display. Beautiful dash design with big convertible center console big sunroof panel with a shade cargo and trunk room well tiny behind the third row it's small back there but so is the tahoe Mm -hmm. i think the tahoe has become i I I haven't looked at figures sales figures but i think the tahoe has been really kind of become the standard as opposed to the suburban because the tahoe will actually if you push it will fit in the garage where the suburban yeah not so much uh what I liked about it, the rear seat AC controls and cell phone connections. This is top-of-the-line premium SUV body on frame. What could use improvement? I just put a big question mark there. I don't know. Now, here's the interesting part to this. A 3.4-liter V6 hybrid with a combined horsepower rating of 437 horsepower and 538 pound-feet of torque. If this can't get you down the road, nothing can. Transmission, 10-speed automatic. Tow rating, 9,280 pounds with a payload of 1,485. Now, you're going to say, let me think. Last version of the Toyota Sequoia got, what, 12 miles per gallon? Going downhill with a stiff tailwind. This one is rated at 19 in the city. 22 on the highway for a combined of 20. I got 18.2. Not bad for a full size Over track. 377 miles. What I liked about it, plenty of smooth and responsive power. No hesitation, no hybrid lag, no, no turbo lag, none of that stuff. It's smooth. They did it right on this one. What I liked about it, the rear air suspension makes for a very comfortable ride. Uh, what could use improvement? Maybe front air would be good as well. I'll bet you that's in the you works. You mean front air suspension? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, pricing. Base trim price, $78,300. Price is tested, $80,906. But that's the capstone top of the line. Top of the line. Base model price, 58365 Competitors. Now, remember, base model price, 58365 and that's what I compare the others to. Chevy Tahoe, 59.7, Ford Expedition, $58,042, and the Jeep Wagoneer, $58,995. So it's right in there. They're all similar si- similarly sized yeah, vehicles but, as but well. This one's been redone very nicely, 
Uh, uh, and I'm with that white pearlescent paint, dude. I don't think it. I don't think the others stand up. I'm just. That's my opinion. Well, and I agree with you. And you and I have both driven all the other ones. And that's not a put down of the other ones. It does not forget brand loyalty. That has a huge factor in sales. And I get that. Totally understand it and respect it. We went to dinner, and Don took us to dinner last week. And when he had the vehicle, very nice vehicle. Rides really nice. Very, very plush. I am not a fan of that big grill. I do not like that grill. That turns me off on that. Well, I, I hear where you're coming from, but I will tell you that that is the thing, and they're all going with it, like it or not. Yeah, you won't, yeah. And uh, it, it's just, that's the way that it is today. I have a feeling that all that's going to go back to a smaller grill because yeah. ultimately there will be no grill well, or no need for right, a grill. These are all going EV. Yeah, and speaking of grill, the... he's look at, jumping look at, look up buzz, and buzz. down. Calm down, Buzz. Oh, Calm shut down, up. Buzz. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down. Buzz, you need to get a grill. Yeah, yeah, get you a grill. That's right. Yeah. Do that. Hey, the Inwheel Time Card Talk Show is available.